Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine, the show where we talk about all things gaming. My name is Killjoy. Today we're going to talk about Wave 2 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Pass and give you my thoughts on the new tracks that have been released. Now, I think I, I, you probably know about my thoughts on the first set of tracks. Uh, I did Wave 1 and I said, it was, you know, it's, there was some good tracks in there, but a lot of it was quite simple. We had like cl uh, classics in like coconut mall choco mountain and like sky garden stream ridge um and it wasn't a bad start it was just a lot of easy tracks basically but now we've got wave two and i and put straight up the off the bat i think this is a better set of tracks overall i think they're a bit more complicated they're not so easy and i kind of hope nintendo keeps doing this where like maybe they'll put more and more difficult tracks as we go along because yeah, it's just one of those things. I don't want all the tracks to be super easy. <laughs> anyway, Wave 2 starts off with the Turnip Cup. And we start off with a Mario Kart Tour track called New York Minute. I don't know. There must be a place called Minute or something in New York. I have no idea why it's called that. Um, and this is definitely a step up from the other two tour tracks. So, Paris Promenade and uh, Tokyo Highway or whatever it's called. Um, New York Minute is a better track than those. But I still have my issues with the tour tracks, and I find them to be... You can tell they're designed for a different Mario Kart game. The tracks are very wide. There's, there are obstacles in this one. You've got Goombas, there's taxis you can drive into. Um, and I also like the fact that these tracks do kind of combine multiple versions of the tour tracks into one. Though sometimes it can be a little bit confusing where to go. And I think this is one of those tracks where it can just be a little bit confusing. Um, overall, I like the track. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but I do like the track, and I think that this is a if if this is the baseline for how the tour tracks are going to be going forward, this is like better. Um, I think Paris Promenade is just really basic, um, but it is better than Tokyo Blur. I think it's actually called. Is it Tokyo Blur? Let me just double check. Yeah, Tokyo Blur is the absolute worst out of the four of them. So probably just Tokyo Blur, Paris Promenade, and then New York Minute for me, and we'll get on to Sydney Sprint. In a bit but yeah it's not a bad track um just a little tiny tiny little bit confusing with some of the turns and things but other than that at least it's there's a lot there's more going on but you can definitely tell these tracks are quite they have a basic feel to them so there's that after that we get mario circuit free from the snes and this is actually i, I am gotta say there is a lot of hate for this track and i don't know why like this i love the classic mario circuit tracks from the snes game i think they're some of the most iconic ones and people, I think, are really upset that this track doesn't have, like, anti-grav or any of these other things. And I'm like, no, not every track needs it. And I quite like the fact that the SNES tracks, or in this case, this particular SNES track, is like a go-karting track. It has that classic flavour of it. It's also still one of the best pieces of music from Mario Kart ever. <laughs> um, and quite frankly, I'm a little bit upset that people keep hating on this track. This is one of the coolest additions to this booster pass. Don't get me wrong, Donut Plains has a but like, so the, the visuals definitely, I can understand that. Donut Plains is already in the game, two or three, whichever one it is, has better visuals. And I think this is, you know, I can see with a lot of these tracks that these aren't as visually pleasing as some of the tracks that are already in Mario Kart 8. But Mario Circuit is just a classic. Um, I would really like to see Mario Circuit 4 added. Um, I like all of them. I like 1, 2, 3, and 4, but I think 4 is a really tough track. This one's pretty tough as well. But it, sometimes you need those just sort of not so basic in the terms of like tour where the tracks are super wide, but sharp turns, flat track, kind of like a go kart track. I love it. I think this is one of the best tracks in this um, booster pass. And quite frankly, I don't get all the hate that this getting. So if you've never played this track, it's basically like a kart track. There's some really tight turns, there's like lots of mini shortcuts you can take. And it's just it's just a fun track, and uh, this this is definitely one of my favourites in the pack. Afterwards, we get Calamari Desert from the N64, which is probably one of the most boring <laughs> tracks in my opinion. This is this is the other one where people are like, oh, I really really like this track, but they don't like the SNES Mario Circuit Three, and I'm like, what? Like Calamari Desert is essentially two big ovals. That's all it is. Um, it's cool that they've added in the ability to go onto the train tracks now, and you actually have to drive through the tunnel. But Calamari Desert is just not a good N64 track. Like Choco Mountain was a better pick in my in my opinion from the first pass. I would love to see Frappy Snowland get added. 
Um, but I'm I'm also not a big fan of the N64 game. I don't like a lot of the tracks in it. But there are definitely better tracks in Calamari Desert. Um, and this track's just really... It's just nothing going for it. Like, yes, there's a train that's an obstacle, but you're just driving around in two big circles. And I think that's kind of... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. I get it has its fans, but these are the same people that are shitting all over Mario Circuit 3. And that is definitely a better track, in my opinion. And then lastly in this one, we get Waluigi Pimble, which I was not expecting to see in this wave. Uh, I was expecting to see it in this booster pass, because it's a, it's a classic track. Um, it's actually probably my second favourite Mario Kart track of all time. My first being Snare's Rainbow Road, which I think is like amazing, that track. Uh, Waluigi Pimble, yeah, I, I really like this track. I spent hours and hours and hours doing time trials on this track back in the DS and the 3DS. I think this is one of the most colourful looking tracks. Uh, it's just got really good music, really good sound effects. It has it has unique, as the classic item box sound. There's a few other little bits that are going on there, like that are unique to this track, which is awesome. The one thing I will say, it definitely feels different playing on it on a console version to the handhelds, but I think that's just the different physics in the games. Again, people saying they want more anti grav and all this other stuff, and I'm like, you know what? I I'm happy with the way this track's been left alone. Like, yes, you probably could have done an alternate version of it, but for me personally, like, I got what I wanted. I love this track. Um, it's just a really cool concept. Driving where the ball, you know, the ball gets launched, rolls all the way down to the pinball machine, which you drive through. Um, you know, you've got bumpers and you've got flippers and you got to avoid the balls. Like, I think this track's chaotic enough, um, um, and it's just, it's just a classic one for me. Like, it was one of the best tracks on the DS, along with Airship Fortress and Delfino Square. Bring those tracks back. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy. This is probably my favourite track in this pass. Yeah, it's definitely my favourite track in this pass, actually. So the Turnit Cup, I think, is just, apart from Calamari Desert, like that's three out of four tracks. I think that's a really good cup. Uh, Calamari Desert, I, I think, is is weird that they don't they, they make that the fourth third track. If these tracks are generally getting harder, I would definitely put Snes. I'd switch that and Calamari. So you have New York Minute, Calamari, then Mario Circuit. But that's how they've done it. And then we've got the Propeller Cup. Which starts off with Sydney Sprint. Now, Sydney Sprint is easily the best um, Mario Kart Tour track in the game. Like a lot of people have been saying, I've seen online, music, fantastic. Really, really, really fun tune for this level. Just a really interesting level. It is a little bit chaotic, and sometimes it's a bit hard to know where you're going. Because you'll be on, like, the road, then you're on, like, near down by the sea, then you're, like, on grass, and it's constantly, like, changing. But I think the, the track is a lot of fun to play on. There's a lot of interactivity on this track. Um, and this is the gold standard for Mario Kart Tour tracks that are specifically from Tour. It's just a really good track, and it's a lot harder as well. Like some of the tracks that we've gotten in the first pass were very, very simple, very basic. Um, you know, compare this to Cal Calamari Desert. Calamari Desert is a very basic track. This one's all over the place. This is I like a few, a lot more of the more difficult tracks. So I'm really glad to see that actually they've done a really nice job of bringing this over and it just it's just a lot of fun to play on so really happy about that after that we got snowland from the game boy advance from super circuit now i very know very little tracks from super circuit i really like this track visually i think this is a really nice track but it is a little bit more on the basic side however because obviously like i have no issue with that like mario circuit 3 is like what people keep saying basic but Snowland's just a fun track. Like, maybe there's some more tricks you could do with it. But honestly, I like the penguins. I like the box that is moving. Um, it's not super... Like, I don't think it's, like, super memorable. But visually, it is very nice. And apparently, like, I didn't notice this. But because you're on ice the entire time, you skid a lot more. But I, I just hadn't noticed it. But this is one of those tracks that I think is just going to get forgotten about. And a lot of people aren't going to really remember it. Because it's not... Cheese Land and Ribbon Road are massive overhauls of the Game Boy Advance tracks and so I feel like this is like that sort of half step where they've gone yeah let's give it a big overhaul but maybe not to the same level as Ribbon Road and Cheese Land but I still like it I think this is a fun track I've never played on it before and I actually really like it bit of a shorter one bit of an easier one again I, I think you'd put this before Sydney Sprint because Sydney Sprint's a lot more like all over the place this is much more of a basic loop um which, but Snowland, I, I, I like it. I think it's fun. Then we got Mushroom Gorge, which is a popular choice from the Wii game. I, I, it's all right. Like I don't hate the track. It's not in my favorite. Like there, I think there are other tracks in the Wii game that I really like. Like the DK level and the, the Snow Mountain one in the Wii, uh, from the Wii one is amazing. Um, obviously Coconut Mall in the first pass. That's a really really good track. This one, 
yeah, it's it's all right. Like it's fun. It's again visually, it's very nice. Um, you know, it's got a fun mechanic with the mushrooms, but it's just one of those tracks that I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Like I don't like. It's, I have no strong feelings on it either way. Like it's just there. It's just the beginning track for one of the uh, courses from Mario Kart Wii, but. I'm kind of glad. I, like you know, I have no problem with this one. If it's back, it's back. You know, like. But it's. I think there are better Wii tracks that could be added here. Um, but you know, I, I, the good thing about these this booster pass is we've got a lot of tracks coming. Um, so you know, it's it's cool that we're going to hopefully get. To, I'm going to hopefully get to see a lot of favourites. Other people are going to get hopefully get to see a lot of favourites. And to be perfectly honest, getting Mario Circuit Free and Waluigi Pinball, I can't really complain because those are like some of my favourite tracks. Um, so apart from seeing, you know, like Airship Fortress and maybe some of the uh, Double Dash levels uh, come back, you know, I've, I feel like I've, I've already gotten what I wanted out of it. Um, I'd love to see more SNES tracks. I'd love to see Mario Circuit 4 come over, but you know, as it stands, like, you know, good amount of tracks. And that leaves me on to Sky High Sunday, which is the new track. Now this one, I really, really find the visuals in this really distracting it's a really cool idea pardon the pun there but the problem is is this one visual fidelity wise this looks so bad compared to the rest of the game if you go and play like uh on the dragon highway or whatever it's called or like the tree level and like compare the visuals that they put into that and, to, and then compare it to this this just looks really bad and on top of that it's not that fun like, it's cool that we got a brand new track, and I say brand new loosely because this was clearly planned for a tour. Um, and you can, this is the problem. Whatever engine they're using to, to port these tour tracks over, they're not getting the same love as the core gameplay from Mario Kart 8. Like, if you look at the original DLC for Mario Kart 8 and then look at these, like, it's night and day in terms of visuals on a lot of these tracks. I mean, to be fair, Calamari Desert does actually look, and Waluigi Pinball also look very nice. So does Snowland. But. This visual fidelity just isn't there, and I think really think this the ice cream level shows that off. Like, just it does not look very good, and um, overall, I just don't really like it. <laughs> I thought I'd be like well into it. It's it's okay, like it's it's fun, I guess, but like it's just odd. Like you got the railings that you can hit that you should, probably shouldn't get boosted off of, and because you're an anti grab the entire time and. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not. A, it's just not a track for me. I don't think. Like, I think I can see people having fun on it. I like the design of like you know ro rolling off like wafer ice creams and going through the um, the like the cornetto and the ice cream van stuff. But yeah, I don't know. It's just it's, it's just a bit basic because you literally just drive in an oval. That's what this track is. You're in an oval, except you're just doing a lot of trick jumps uh, off stuff. Just, just an odd, odd, odd track. I, I, I really don't know how to feel about it. Compared to Ninja Hideaway, which I think is absolutely, like, an absolute, it just an incredible, very, very difficult track. Um, probably a bit too difficult for, for Wave 1, but, like, Ninja Hideaway is just, if it's an original track that they're going to add, then, you know, I think that's a, a much better, much more interesting track. In fact, I'm kind of curious, what's the... Let's have a look. I've got a, a, a diagram on my right here. I'm just curious as to what they are doing for, um, you know, if there's a pattern here. Because so far, we've had two tour tracks, well, technically three tour tracks per pack. Because Ninja Hideaway was in tour before it came to Mario Kart 8. So that leaves us, so that's five tracks in each pack, basically, that aren't tour tracks. And I'm going to do a separate video on this about like how I feel about these tour tracks taking over some of the spots of other classic tracks. But um, compared to Wave 1, Wave 2 I think is stronger. Wave 1 had what? We had Choco Mountain and Coconut Mall, Toad Circus and Paris Prom Promenade. And I think Choco Mountain and Coconut Mall were really good from Golden Dash Cup. As for Lucky Cat, you have Tokyo Blur, Shroom Ridge, Sky Garden, Ninja Hideaway. I would say Shroom Ridge, Ninja Hideaway, and Sky Garden's alright. So you have solid tracks there, whereas in Wave 2 you've got New York Minute, Mario Circuit 3, Calamari, and Waluigi, which is a strong cup, Calamari being the weakest track. And then for Propeller you've got Sydney Sprint, Snowland, Mushroom Gorge, Sky High Sunday. Again, Sky High Sunday probably being the weakest one there. Um, so overall I think the, the second pack is stronger, there's more tracks that I like, so that's probably where my bias lies. But going forward I would really like to see... Um, 
start start putting a few more difficult tracks in there you know start picking picking some a few more difficult ones there is rumors that rainbow road another rainbow road is coming which would be great i would love to see that um but overall yeah really liking it i do i, I wish i you know they would show off a, a better time frame for when these are coming out i know the next set of tracks will most likely come out sort of november december so let's look forward to that um and let's hope that we get some tracks if i was going to make a prediction for one track that i want to see in it i would well like what what would i want to see less of a prediction just like what would i want to see from it um i'd like to see a gamecube track Pfft, not sure which one from double dash though maybe i guess uh peach beach daisy cruiser waluigi stadium wario coliseum one of those four that'd be really really cool um, and then maybe something else from the Wii game as well, or yeah. So let, let's 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 put some down. Let's go Waluigi Stadium or Wario Coliseum from the Game Boy uh, GameCube. Um, I would like to see something from DS or the 3DS. So either Airship Fortress from the DS, or maybe Alpine, the Alpine level from the 3DS one, like the Rock Rock Mountain or whatever it's called. I can't remember. And then. Yeah, maybe from the Wii, like the DK level, the DK snowy mountain level. That'd be pretty cool. So, but yeah, there you go. There's my thoughts on the wave two of the booster pass. It's a, it's, it, I feel like it's a step up, and I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. Uh, but you can look forward to. I am going to do another video on about uh, about this booster cut pass as a whole and expectations and you know the graphics and all this other stuff that's been going on with it because I feel like I've got stuff to say on it, but. Yeah, if you, uh, if you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more content like this, then hit subscribe. Links for Facebook and Twitter will be in the description down below. And until next video, I will see you then.